Welcome to Raw Holla. There you go, scoreboard. Y'all can view through the window while I update the scoreboard right quick. Cause like y'all really be giving me like no time. And just looking at this right now, it is not looking good for free at all. Like, here yeah, it's kind of no, just. Not at all. Yeah, it's doing very, very well already. Just with this great sword with guitars. Are you back? Kind of winning. Um, are you back? Is your connection back? Yeah. Hey, you're back in the uh, room code, aren't you? All right, that's good. Now we can get back to it. Now, Pierre's on the second stock, and Emperor Free is looking to even up the stock count right now. It's just a grand final right now, so I'm gonna do mass display. So you cast it. Back. So damage actually quite equal here. Pierre playing guitars. He played them in autos, I believe. Uh, I believe catching second place, if I'm not mistaken. But getting that down sig will take. Stock However, you do wow. have to acknowledge. Look at the damage. P uh, Pierre is heavily damaged, and with the low depth zones of like the bottom, it's not too far of a stretch to say that Free can cheese Pierre, given that he has gauntlets. However, Pierre has guitars as well and Mako and Six, so this could go either way. I genuinely feel like Pierre is gonna win this game just because. Right now he has such a bit, such a big lead over Freed and just doing very well going for that chase dodge to, uh, to, into Cider. Does manage to make it up with that guitar recovery, trying to find a quick KO option. Nair will not be enough. It might not be enough. But Free does have blasters. He can over he can overspace or just straight up outspace Pierre in general. Manage, and blasters will have some pretty good damage buildup as far as I can tell, as, as far as well. I've experienced so with Emperor Freeze Blasters he should be okay for the most part but all he has to worry about is a true combo or a heavy attack and speaking of heavy like attack that. yep all right here takes game number one I, I'm gonna be honest I think we're gonna see about the same exact result as we did this game Pierre's gonna take it you know it's I'm sorry but Pierre's just playing so well right now and it's just genu genuinely he wants his five dollars. Yeah, this is this was essentially just a long money match. Technically, yeah. Five and a half hour long money match. That's what this was. Uh, I, you see, I won a money match against Aflac, so I just decided to invest in uh, invest the money in the tournament. That's all. I ain't know Pierre was gonna pull up and rob like five dollars from everyone. And like some codes. And you never know, man. Money is money. Yep. And game two is game two with Pierre on guitars once again. See, in autos, we saw Pierre's guitars and he was messing Luna up. Like, that's undeniable. He was just m mopping Luna. I'm pretty sure he uh, beat Luna as well, but Luna did make a comeback in grand finals. So that was very unfortunate because I was really rooting for Pierre. But this time around, I do see his guitars. He has some new experiences. Well, not new experiences, but he's doing much better. He's playing much better than before as well. I mean, this is a different opponent, but these are looking pretty good for Pierre right now, but not so much for free. Here's the thing. Anytime I see pro players, like, just playing against normal... Uh, well, not, I wouldn't say normal, but... Free is a, it's when I see normal. pro players play against people like Free Bug, the higher ELO, 23 plus 100. Yep. Like, genuinely, it it gives me a perspective on how much better that they actually are than, you know, casual players or, like, you know, 21ers. Like, it gives me such a big perspective on it. It is ridiculous. Especially even fighting them. It's, it is def it is a new experience because of how, um, how it just really plays out. Hmm. Right now, you're getting that second KO. 
And Freed is down to his last stock in game number one. Or, I'm sorry, in game number two. That was a nice read. I really like this great sword for him. I really like this great sword. What do you think about it? I mean, I haven't seen Pierre play great sword before, so to see how his great sword performs right now, I can't really say I like it because it's something I've seen before. It is is similar to like most uh, like twenty two hundred great sword means in my opinion. And now Pierre getting that JV three will take game number two. He took two hundred and three damage on that first stock elbow. That's crazy. Yeah, and it's on the direction this is going. Pierre is definitely on his way to winning this. And then we we'll have to get Ad Flag. It's freaking. What's it called? Cash App or PayPal, where he uses. So he can deliver the money. You know, it's kind of funny because the people in that in Discord made fun of me for having $5 attached to a tournament because I felt like it. But like that's whatever, because we move on to our next and possibly our final game, game number three of grand finals. You know the the way the last two games have gone. I'm gonna I gotta be honest. This is gonna be a three zero. Sorry, it just it really just looks like it. Pierre just has monstrous starts and once again already getting a little bit of damage built with this great sword. It ain't been the auto combos as well as we have Pierre here who already has Emperor Free and Orange actually going into red. Even Magyar's defense cannot save him from the likes of Pierre. A dare into Nair. Almost got the recovery, but we have Free here who's barely seemingly just nothing to Pierre. Like, and Pierre to, to the point even committing to. Oh my god. I say that this the great sword's doing really well. I think one of my favorite things to like, so that's a little off topic, but I think one of my favorite things to see is you know LAN, uh, LAN tournaments, because uh -huh. in every single region there's technically a different meta, you know. Hmm. You know it, the way people play the what the weapons the way they. Uh, you know, use the legend six. Oh my yeah, god! Destroying Freed right now. It, seeing all those metas clash is really interesting to see. You know, what actually goes on? What is actually the best? You know? Yeah, I get exactly what you're saying right now. And speaking of what you're saying, look at the stock count. We have Pierre who's absolutely destroying Freed right now. It's like it hurts just to watch, like how bad this is. Pierre nearing that almost red zone does manage to catch a recall or a dodge and then that ground pound will confirm the set and Pierre will take home the championship.